22 big points, but his team trailing. As we look at our Phillips Norelco first half stats, uh, many of the numbers very close. So Miami with a pretty big rebounding edge. Knicks had some good performances off the bench, but Carmelo Anthony again leading the way overall. As Eric Spolstra and Heat looking for a big road win. Let's listen to some of Spolstra's huddles. We went one for seven, and we had some questionable turnovers. Stay the course. Stay the course. Concentrate and execute this, and let's get some stops down there. Well, Jeff, it's typical of what we've seen from the Heat on the road since the All-Star break. Some terrific moments and some not-so-terrific moments. But I think their formula today has been good. They've defended. They've out-rebounded New York by seven, and they've kept their turnovers down to five. I think this is... They put themselves in great shape to get a big road win. They had a terrific start, and then Anthony went to work for a while. Meanwhile, Carmelo Anthony, just brilliant in that first half. He is in such a terrific tear, but his overall game in that first half was impressive. Yeah, the 22 points, outstanding. But three assists, no turnovers. He's making the right plays. Here he's in his elbow isolation, so five guys are looking at him. The New York Knicks do a good job of setting a little double brush screen for Novak to get him open for the three-point shot, and then on the pick and roll, he rejects the pick, drives in, draws five guys who are staring at him, does a good job finding Shumpert for the efficient three-point corner three. And then when they bring Bosch over on the strong side against the isolation versus Wade, good cut by Davis to drag Haslam up, and Anthony picks him apart by finding Chandler underneath the rim. Double brush screen. There's a lot of names for screens. Yeah, there is. I love terminology. <laughs> Let's check in with Lisa Salters. Hey, Mike. Well, uh, Mike Woodson was just telling me, he said, you know what? Our defense really got us back into this thing. He said, we started out so, he said, I don't want to say scared, but really nervously. We wanted to play well so badly, and we didn't. We missed shots, missed free throws. He said, but our defense is why we are where we are. And I said, what about Carmelo Anthony? What's going on with him? And he said, you know what? We're playing for something. We legitimately have a shot to win our division, and that's what we're all playing for right now, Mike. All right, Lisa Bosch knocks that one down. It's it's a long shot right now. They're three back of the Celtics, although they do play Boston Tuesday here at the Garden. Oh, the Heat back up by four. And this is a potential first-round matchup. Anthony, difficult shot. Everything going in for Carmelo Anthony. But you heard LeBron James at halftime when he was talking to Lisa say they can live with the contested two-point jump shots. And that's how good defenses are based upon. Limiting layups, free throws, and wide open threes. And if a great player is making those right there, you're gonna have to live with them. Nice play from Bosch, seeing that one developing. Turnover seven for the Knicks, five for the Heat. James gets inside, foul, puts it in. Baron Davis thought he should have drawn a foul. Instead, it's on Carmelo Anthony, and that's his first. This is the runaway freight train coming at him full speed. And then Anthony tries to take the foul. Davis close to drawing a charge there. You know what? There's so much flopping going on, Mike, as James misses the free throw. If you're an official, I like it right now. You gotta be sure because everyone is an actor now. And we haven't seen as many of those quickly called. Fields drive, scoop layup, pretty play from Fields for his first field goal. And Landry Fields, because most people put their three on Anthony, Landry Fields is the guy who always has the four on him. That time he took Haslam off the dribble. Good catch and go by Fields. Anthony on Haslam at this end. Shot clock down to four. James, difficult jump shot, puts that one in. He's hit some tough shots. And there's LeBron James now with 19. And James, slow to get up as Anthony launches one there. Won't go, rebound Wade. And he's still down at the other end of the floor. Along the baseline, the Heat have to burn a timeout. As James, sitting down, took a tumble. And because the court is so narrow where he made it on his fade, he either landed on... Okay, sat for quite some time after turning his ankle, stepping on the foot of one of the uh, baseline fans. Watch after falling back, take that one step back with the left foot, step right on the foot of one of the fans. 
Yes. And turned the ankle a bit. Stayed down for a while. One whole possession down the other end of the floor. But will stay in the lineup and appears to be okay. Should I go with the W word? What's that? He's a warrior. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when Shumpert barely twisted his ankle last Friday. The question was, was he going to play today? Of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't you play? You're really on this coddling thing. Oh, my. Chalmers on the drive. Left-handed oh. won't go. Haslam tried to tip it. There's and no a ball. loose ball foul is going to go Team against Udonis Haslam. That's his third. Team's first. A good play. Chalmers got Baron Davis off him, cleared his space, and got a nice drive to the rim and just missed the contract. LeBron James had one of the best games of his career here at the Garden, a little over three years ago, when he had a 52-point game, 11 assists, 9 rebounds. Back when he was with the Cavaliers. Anthony strong to the basket. But you see where that help was? by Bosch. It was barely outside that restricted area. You've got to get Carmelo Anthony the help outside the lane. Once he takes off, he's too strong. Shumper trying to reach in. Wade now looking to post him up. Difficult shot from Wade. That won't go. Wade had the big first quarter. A little quiet since. Chandler foul on the entry pass. Haslam will pick up that, I believe. That should be his fourth. Well, great play by Davis over to Anthony. And then watch the drive from outside the three-point line. Bosch barely gets outside the restricted area. And so Anthony's able to slide by. That help is too late. Meanwhile, the foul call on Wade. So he has three. Haslam remains with three. Davis fakes a three. Bumped. Pass deflected. Good defense from Wade. Wade now drives. Hot step pass fields. And he reaches in for a foul. That little quick crossover. And now he gets to the line with 844 remaining in the third. And great hustle by Carmelo Anthony to get back and prevent the lob to James, forcing Wade to attack. Good effort. That's exactly what you want to see. And good foul by Landry Fields to not give up the contested dunk. That's what he wasn't doing early in the season. He even admitted that. And it's made all the difference. I mean, you, when you coached here, your, your star player was Patrick Ewing, and you knew your best player was going to hustle on every single play. Yeah, I, but I don't, uh, but uh, here's my thing. Why wouldn't you play all out? It's your job. Great question. And I'm not just talking about Carmelo Anthony. I'm talking about anybody. Why would you hold back? It's your job to play hard. It starts with coming to work and then playing hard and playing unselfishly. If your best players do that, especially when you have the talent of someone like Anthony, everyone else falls into line, plays hard, you're going to have a good year. When you're seeing what he's, he's capable of doing, not just, as everybody talks about, one of the best scores in the game. Lines up a three, puts it in. He's done a little bit of everything. Post moves, drives to the basket, three-pointers, pull-up jumpers. Free throws, and he's got 29 points in 25 minutes. And that was a great screen by Tyson Chandler, and an even better pass by Landry Field. Wade to Bosch, and Bosch knocks down another. Bosch, 5 of 10 from the field. Boy, it's so nice to have him as your third offensive weapon. No question, when he plays well, they're very difficult to deal with. Fields the spin against Haslam. And Bosch able to get the rebound. Still early here in the third. Heat lead by three. They had an 11-point lead in the first half as Wade slices and dices. Davis comes up with a steal. Davis to fake the drive, and he got hit. And it should be. They call it on Chalmers. Ronnie McCutcheon checking with his fellow official if it was in the act of shooting. And they call it on Chalmers. And Baron Davis just had a flashback about a decade ago. <laughs> Great steal and open court push. Well, Davis, as we said, he turned 33 the other day. There's been a couple of games he's looked 43. He looked 23 there. He just hasn't been healthy. And we said this before. 
He's playing through a lot of a lot of injuries and battling because he knows right now the team needs him as we check in with Lisa. Hey Mike, well, I was talking to Barron about that just uh, before the game and he said he feels about 75% because of all those injuries. He said, you know, it's hard because I'm used to, to dominating a game. And we actually brought up, remember that dunk uh, he had on Andre Kirilenko where he just, it was just ridiculous. And he said, now he can't even dunk. Mike? Well, he's been battling, of course, the back injuries, but he has had neck injury, hamstring, groin, a little bit of everything. Now he's guarding LeBron James. And Mike, to be fair, being out of shape. And that's on him. He's been out of shape too often in his career for his town. A two-time All-Star. Little fake there. And able to get to the free throw line. But where he's underrated, Mike, is defensively. He's got the strength to battle a lot of good players. And when he's engaged defensively, the Knicks can go to a different level. You know, he's an NBA steel leader a couple of times, but he's a smart defensive player now, playing the angles and spots. Doesn't have the quickness, obviously, that he used to. And with Jeremy Lin out after the knee surgery, he is the starting point guard. Oh, last touch by Anthony, so a new 24 for the Heat. And the Knicks switch more than any team in the NBA. And they do it well. Game stripped to the ball. Ball loose, picked up by Fields. Fields to Anthony. Shumpert up top. Landry Fields flips it up and does not get the roll. Ball tipped and taken by James. Wade gets in. His flip shot. Nice soft touch for Dwayne Wade. He's got 18. When he's in the post, the Heat right now are at their very best. Miller on Davis. Davis getting fancy again. Fields will try a three. Well, short Chandler tips it back out. Davis will try a three. That misses. And Bosch comes up with the board. Eight rebounds for Chris Bosch. LeBron James. And a long rebound way out to Haslam. Back to James. Gets a running start. And barrels into Chandler. 